Yo pinjero sa ano? Okay, next order of business is to once again we will meet with Mr. Carr from AT&T Broadband, formerly Media One, formerly, 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 formerly. And uh, Mr. Carr, it's nice to see you, always nice to see you. And uh, you were put off a couple of times. We yes. appreciate you uh, coming back, snowstorms, town yeah. meetings, a few other things that I'm sure you didn't mind. <laughs> Uh, you have some you have some information for us, do you? A couple of things. Couple uh, of things. Uh, originally, uh, the the purpose for being here was to discuss uh, the rate increase, which was implemented on uh, February second. Uh, the uh, rate increase affected uh, what we refer to as standard service, which is the entire basic package. Uh, a five percent increase. The exact uh, numbers were. Uh, went from $30.95 to $32.50 per month. Uh, the basic service uh, was not affected, and that remained at uh, $6.31. The increase uh, was entirely on the expanded portion, uh, going from $24.64 to $26.19. Uh, the increase uh, was primarily, if not almost exclusively, due to increase in programming costs that uh, we get from our vendors. Uh, programming costs across the board went up uh, approximately 10% uh, with the sports services uh, accounting for a big bulk of that. They, if you isolated uh, the sporting services, they went up almost 16%. Uh, so the, uh, the great uh, preponderance of our increase comes from uh, their increases to us. Uh, some of the other uh, cost increase involved uh, are increases in levels of uh, customer service. So uh, the uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, the a la carte premium services in some cases went up uh, from 11.95 uh, to 12.99. In the case of HBO, Showtime, Cinemax, and the Movie Channel uh, went up from 10.95 to 11.99 and uh, the stars and encore package went from 10.95 to 11.99. Uh, those are all on an a la carte basis. Uh, the packaging uh, combinations uh, stay the same. So uh, I'd be more than happy uh, to discuss, uh, answer any questions you may have regarding that rate increase or uh, any other cable related uh, issues. It just so happens on the, uh, the STARS package, when I first finally, finally signed up for cable, which was, uh, I was a Johnny come lately, but uh, there was some special deal when you got the smart box for another $10, you could get this uh, STARS mm -hmm. uh, package, I guess the STARS Encore package for $10 additional a month. And that also included the on-screen um, guide. No, the information yeah, guide, yeah. on, screen, on yeah. screen guide and the regular guide yeah. with it. Um, we were notified of the rate increase, this is just as a regular payer here, uh, that it was going up, uh, I think $2, uh, no, it went to thirteen fifty, and then the following month it went to $16, at which point I canceled it. Um, and I was also told that if I cancel it, then the on screen thing became an a la carte as opposed to part of the package. They don't offer that STARS package anymore as they offered it previously. And there was a double rate increase on that one particular, that's the only thing that I was familiar with because that's the only thing I had. Um, and it appeared to be uh, successful in having me give it up uh, and, and go to some other expanded portion and start paying piecemeal on, on different items. And I didn't see it in any of the rate increases. I didn't see it in any of the packaging. It was just another little slip put into my my bill and I suppose other people who had the same uh, package. Uh, again, I'm, I'm not sure exactly whether it was a promotion, promotional rate. It was a promotional rate yeah. at the time. Okay. But that was, you know, 
three, four years ago, four years ago or something. Mm -hmm. uh, so the package was not offered as part of the, uh, the regular menu, but offered as a promotional deal. But what they said was, if you want to continue it, what they did is they priced it to the point where if you were to do the a la carte, you'd be at the same place. Mm -hmm. uh, so basically forcing you to step up to the plate and pay uh, something that you had already contracted for, much more for. And again, it wasn't posted in the rate increases. Okay, I, again, I'm, I'm not sure of the time frame involved, but uh, I mean, we run periodic promotions with uh, reduced prices to interest people, but those are, those are short-term promotions. So this was part of the deal with the smart boxes when you were asking people to convert over to those okay. and, and uh, oh. take it on. And, and I don't, I mean, it was part of the package with that. Mm -hmm. uh, and now what they're doing is expanding, uh, increasing well, we change, the price. We change a lot of the packages. Well, you change a lot of the packages, yeah. but you, you increase the price on that particular deal. Again, uh, I don't just participate in an awful lot of things. Less than I have to get because we have to watch the sports. But um, <coughs> Other than that, uh, I just saw a substantial rate increase over a two-month period, and I'm talking from, from about $10 to $16, and I thought that was an inordinate amount of... Uh, I, I, I guess the only... I, I, I'd have to do the, as I said, I'd have to do the research on the time frame exactly to what you're referring. I'm not sure it was a rate increase, per se, it, because uh, I think what may have happened is, you know, you receive a promotional uh, rate which, uh, well, they weren't taking the deal away. They weren't taking the promotion package away, and I could have kept, again, the, uh, the on-screen guide and the regular guide and, and everything else that came along with that package, but they increased <coughs> it 60% in okay, two and months. Again, uh, um, you know, I'd, have, you know, I'd have to do the specific research. If you want to analyze it uh, from a specific point of view, you can certainly... Yeah. I just uh, thought, and it was right on the heels of everything else. It was, a matter of fact, of February 1st, then March 1st. Okay. Boom, boom, you know, back to back. 60% uh, increases in that one, one deal to try and take the people who are on those packages, I would assume, and either guide them over to something else or well, you know, it, them it, you know, what we were doing at the same time was uh, launching digital television service, so a lot of those packages did change. So a lot of the cha you know, a lot of the packages went to the digital service, so uh, the, the rates and the packaging of those services uh, is, uh, it varies depending upon what you are viewing habits are. And some of them, uh, you know, some of them do change. Some of them are promotions and some of them do change. And, uh, you know, again, uh, I'm not sure whether that was a uh, specific promotion or, or what the status was, but I'll look into it. Let you know what happened. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Smith, do you want to something? something no, I, I just guess, uh, you know, it just seems like every year or every so many months, I should say in this case, like what Mr. O'Leary just indicated, Every utility or every item or every whatever, everybody just keeps inching them up and everybody says the same thing. The reason we had to go up is because of this. It was always somebody else's problem that we had to go up. And um, I don't know who the guy at the very top, you know, where he gets his money from other than uh, the sale of the product on the way down. But. Um, you look at your price going up, and then I, I just, we just hear on the radio today, gasoline, they're going to go up another 10 cents over the next two weeks. It just went up 10 cents over the last two weeks. That's a 20 cent increase just in gasoline. And I, it, it just never stops. And um, I, I often wonder, where is it going to stop? Uh, it's, it's, it's like your rates, and um, not, not only your rates, um, everybody. But since you're here, we're going to on you. No, and, and, and believe well, people, me, uh, nobody, uh, nobody likes to talk about a rate increase. Natural gas now, they have a pipe that comes into your house and they charge you a delivery charge. Um, things like that. I mean, they're, they're, they're totally just out of touch with reality or something, and yet they get away with that stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to disagree with... Some people's with bills on natural gas have gone up as much as, as $150 uh, in a month. I, again, if no one likes to deliver information about a rate increase, but I... You know, I've been in front of you for 15 years. Now. Yeah, you know, we have. Uh, the, uh, I still think that uh, the standard package, basic cable service, at you know, roughly $32, $33 a month is a terrific value. I uh -huh. think that... Uh, I tend to agree with you yeah. on, on that, yeah. that particular and I, I, phase. You know, we're, we're in competition, and we're trying to keep the rates down. Right. And, uh, you know, we, uh, you know, you're talking about the guy at the top. It might be uh, 
might be Manny Ramirez this year on the top of that. Uh, That's exactly pocket. what I'm driving at. I mean, yeah. they pay these guys yeah. $100 million a year. And, and then they try to recapture realistic. some of that cost, you know, by passing it on to us. And realistically, uh, the people yeah. that are looking at the TV are paying yeah. his salary. But, I mean, I understand all yeah. that. But when you take $2 on your bill and $2 oh. on my bill and $2 on the heat bill and $2, by the time you multiply the two dollars by forty, it's eighty dollars a month. No, to, I mean, to, to, to I'm, a I'm a consumer just like you are, and I uh, I look do at those same have, numbers. Do you have Do you have a card? Like, if some member on this board wanted to contact you, personally? yes, uh, Mr. Young has got all my numbers, okay. uh, so that uh, you, you know numbers. we uh, we uh, are in constant contact, which brings me to uh, a somewhat more unpleasant topic, if you can think of that, uh, rather than a rate increase. Uh, I've been shifted a little bit, and I'm not going to be directly responsible for North Reading. And one of the other things that I wanted to do this evening was uh, bring a fellow in and introduce him to you. I've already done it with uh, the manager, and uh, he'll be more directly responsible for, for North Reading. I'll be, uh, I'll be in the same position, but I'll have uh, responsibility for a couple of other towns now, other than North Reading. One of the, his uh, name is Rob Travers. Uh, you know, he's uh, very, very confident. He'll be housed, by the way, in North Reading, which I uh, never was. He'll be down on, uh, we have a uh, facility on uh, Concord Street now. I don't know whether you're familiar with that, that we're leasing uh, a lot of space, and we have uh, a lot of trucks rolling out of there now. So uh, he'll be uh, very local. Uh, you know, it's, it's uh, and again, I'm not trying to dodge, I'll answer any more questions, but since that did arise, uh, Tom has met him, he's got his numbers. Uh, I'll still be available. And uh, Tom's also got my numbers, so uh, you know, I've been here for 15 years, so I got a lot of a lot of history here. I was thinking tonight as I drove up here, uh, the ball hadn't even rolled through Buckner's legs when I arrived here. So, uh, you know. I, I can honestly say, on behalf of myself, anyway, as long as I've been on this board, that's, it's been nine years. Hopefully, it's going to be three more. Um, <laughs> but um, <laughs> I think that will pitch in. Um, but um, you have been very cooperative. Uh, I appreciate with any that. concerns that this board has had yep. in relation to cable TV. Yep. And I certainly appreciate that. I'm yep. sure your uh, fellow employer will be the same. No, I, I, you know, I, I'll be around. And uh, you know, if for some reason, uh, the nice thing that will happen is if there's some historical uh, precedent that uh, he's not aware of, uh, you know, I'll still be there. So we're talking, I told Tom he can pick up the phone. Oh, they just shift the territories? Uh, well, what they, what they did uh, is when we acquired a lot of the uh, Cablevision properties, uh, there's an awful lot of licenses to be renegotiated. So uh, being the guy with gray hair and glasses, I picked up a few <laughs> of those. So uh, you know, I've, got, uh, I've got a relatively full plate with uh, some license negotiations. So they're- uh, A few more nights out, huh? <laughs> yeah. If this is Thursday, it must be Brookline and that type, you know, that type of thing. But again, uh, you know, Rob will be housed very locally, and uh, he's uh, he's a good man. And uh, now, is there going to be a, uh, a counter over there that people can? No, no. This is just uh, uh, this is okay. where we roll trucks from, and it's a lot okay. of uh, administrative. It's not a uh, not a customer service center, but it's uh, you know, it's uh, we got a lot of vehicles. Any chances of getting one over there? Uh, it's always a chance, always a possibility. You know, I'm not, yeah. I think, uh, you know, we're just uh, getting the kinks out right now, uh, and we've had a lot of other building problems. Uh, I was uh, in Winchester until about uh, six weeks ago when there was uh, four and a half feet of water in the first floor, so now I'm, uh, I'm in Andover again. I, say, so I hope you're on the third floor now. I was on the second yeah, yeah. floor. <laughs> I was on the second floor, but uh, no, when that, uh, I don't know if it was six weeks, three and a half, four weeks ago when the, when the heavy rains hit, uh, I know Mr. Baggins are fit and familiar with the area, but right on the off of Cross Street, uh, you know, there's a yeah. a valley uh, that's built in there, and uh, you know, I pulled my car into there one day and then pulled it out, uh, just barely getting it out in time. So uh, I'm up in Andover now. But uh, again, in answer to your original question, all of those uh, no, phone numbers and okay. email addresses are available. Very good, thank you. Uh, we've been, we've built. Bill Berry from the Cable Advisory Committee. I don't know, if, Bill, if you had any uh, questions or comments or uh, observations. Or Not at this time. I was just invited in to uh, see what we see uh, addressed tonight. Uh, Jim, you mentioned our, uh, uh, you mentioned you're working on contracts. How many more years on us, do you know? Five or six. 